Here we go. Hello, hello. Hello. How's it going? Welcome back to another new video. This isn't a vlog. Obviously on this channel, so far this entire year, I've been uploading the Sunday Diaries. Every Sunday, like a breakdown of either a day or a week in my life, our life as a mm -hmm. family. We've currently been daily vlogging every single day during August over on Zoe's channel. We have, we have. So you wanted to do it's something a little on. bit different. It is full <laughs> on. The last thing I wanted to do was try and film somewhat of a vlog that you haven't already seen over on Zoe's channel. I'm sure most of you are over there watching the vloggers videos that we've been doing. So I thought I'd hit you with a big Q&A. Just a nice sit down, catch up, hang out, chill. Because at the end of the vloggers videos, we've been answering one question every day. And it's so many people's favorite bit. And so, there are so many questions that we actually don't get to answer yeah, because we only pick like one. Like literally thousands, yeah. because we pick one per day. And obviously there's so many comments that get commented on the videos. So we've picked a bunch, or I've picked a bunch of those comments and just thought we'd sit down, hang out and answer them. Let's go. Also, if you haven't already checked out the vloggers videos, by the time you're watching this, there's probably like 27 days of videos so definitely go check them all out they're like 45 minutes each roughly so they're you're gonna, long you're gonna need a lot of time These if you're are used like... to like an alfie day's vlog which is probably half an hour 25 minutes yours are getting longer they're getting longer they're getting longer you are not ready for the vlogs over on zoe channel they are and also i feel like these out of all the months of vlogs we've done in life of all the vlogmases all of the a couple of vloggers now i thought someone was coming in our kitchen there i think there's a squirrel that keeps coming it's getting braver and braver, and I think one I day we're going to turn around. I saw him over there earlier, like right just outside yeah, the door. Yeah, one day we're going to turn around, that squirrel is going to be in our kitchen, I'm telling you now. That's what Nala was barking at the other was day. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I was saying, I think that this <laughs> month of vlogs, I'm just going to put it out there, is the best we've ever done. <gasps> Whoa! That I think the videos a are. Statement. The videos they are. feel, I think it's because it's like, got both the girls in it and they're both like Novi's becoming a little personality she's just started there's a, lot a little bit on. saying words yeah otty has got such a big personality now that there's just so much going on in them and True. we're also doing a lot yeah they're incredibly fun so definitely go check them out if you haven't already but i've screenshotted a load of questions let's on my started. phone let's just hang out Pause the video, go make a coffee, go make a hot chocolate. Come go and chill grab with us. Some snacks. And put your grey jumper on if you haven't already. <laughs> we need to see you tag us on Instagram stories of you watching this in your grey jumper. Alfie and I literally sat down we and we were like, oh. We did not do this on purpose. <laughs> we're both wearing a grey jumper. Okay, first question. Okay, right. You haven't actually seen these questions. No. I just screenshotted them earlier. Well, I've got quite a lot. Also, these questions are really varied. Like, some of them are like completely random and just jokey. Some of them are like more serious. Okay. I literally just screenshotted a random bunch. Okay. Would you rather give up the internet for a week mm. or junk food for a week? That's a good question. I would rather give up. Don't even lie and say, don't. Who's that then? Late night delivery? <coughs> One minute. <coughs> if you say junk food, you are lying to everyone. <coughs> I would give up the internet. <laughs> I think I'd do internet as well. Because that would probably be really enjoyable. Nice little digital detail. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, like, you don't need to force me to do that. I think that would be quite fun. Yeah, especially after doing vloggers. I feel like it'd be nice to have a break. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm planning to do. We've been so intense on the uploads. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, I think that would be nice. I'd embrace that. Yeah. Junk food, mm, that's very difficult for me. See, I'm not fussed about the junk food. But I think it'd be nice to have a break from the internet on purpose. This is by far, by far the most popular question that I got. And it's something that until like recently I haven't really been asked very much at all. And for some reason in the last week, I've had so many people message me in. If you had boys, what would their names have been? Mm. I don't know if we can answer that. Because I don't think we're going to have any more children. I don't think, but I don't want to like. Very happy with I don't want to say for sure. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Never say never. Never say you know, never. Never know how we're going to be feeling in like a year or two or three or four or anything. Yeah. I don't want to say the boy's name that we would have used. Because there might be a point where we want to use be. it. 
It's very true. I have could, you got a list with a couple yeah, of others I'll that were like up the there, others. but we didn't, yeah. but weren't the number one. Basically, there is like one particular boy's name that we are obsessed with. But you I, do know if we had another child, it would be a girl. Oh yeah, 100% so, be a girl. So yeah. again, it would be like, maybe if we have a third and it's a girl, then we can tell you the yeah. boy's name that we had. Unless we use it for well, the girl I knew, name. Yeah, with Novi, there was one point where I was like, I think we just use the name with Novi. It works for a girl I'm as well. I'm glad we didn't. Novi she's looks not, like Novi. She's, she's not the name that no. we have. For Novi a is boy. a Novi. Okay, so some of the boys' names that we had: Milo, I love Sully. Milo. We love Sully. Sullivan. I love Sullivan. Sully, Sully is very cute. Bertie. Bertie. Bertie is like. Bertie is very is just cute. The See, I, boy. I would Bertie. use Bertie if we like. You never know. We could end up having a boy a and then being Bertie. like, maybe that he's not that name we liked. Bertie is very cute. That was up there for me. I really like Artie. Yeah. But it's very close to Alfie, yeah, I feel it's a like. Bit too sim I don't know if it's too similar, actually. It could work. Artie, Alfie. I love Rupert. I love Rufus. Like, Rue, basically. Which is Artie's middle name. I even put Ernie on here. I just thought a little Ernie is Ernie's quite, quite cute. cute. Can you imagine I quite Otley, like old Novi, like Ernie? Old man, old woman sounding names. Yeah. Like Ernie sounds like a little old man, but equally a really cute little boy. Albie, but again, very similar to Alfie. Stanley's Stanley, always been on my I list. I love Stanley. Always. My friend in school's little brother was called Stanley. And I just love A little that name. Stan. A little Stan. Otty, Novi, Stanley. Stan. It goes with oh, the Alfie, man. Zoe, Stanley, so Otty. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, those are a couple of the names. We're going to keep the one we really like in our back pocket. Just we'll probably never use it. No, I don't think we'll ever use it. But if we do another Q&A in like 10 years time. Oh, hopefully we're still not. <laughs> no, having <laughs> babies? <laughs> having, having sex? <laughs> I was gonna say, he was still not sitting down YouTube. doing doing Q and A's. I'll be forty four. There'll be no one watching. You say we'll that. have like eleven viewers left. You say They'll be that. Like, I've been watching you for twenty five years. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah. That would blow my mind. That'd be so crazy, wouldn't it? Maybe, maybe there'll still be a couple of people hanging on in there. <laughs> yeah, me and you. <laughs> Our mums. <laughs> this just happens to be perfectly timed. What makes you want to keep vlogging? Oh, I love that. After but us joking literally that we're like still be hanging on. <laughs> I feel like there's a couple of reasons for me. Yeah. One is I love it. I enjoy it so enjoy much. Enjoy doing it. Enjoy yeah, filming. I enjoy vlogging. Yeah. Two is I enjoy capturing moments mm -hmm. in life that we can watch back. Yeah. Like, I love that. And three is the feeling of like community. Like I love that it makes people happy. Yeah. And I like, I don't know, I just like that feeling. It just feels like a nice feeling. We were in town earlier today and we met so many people that watch the videos. It's and so nice. People that are watching vloggers. It's just so lovely. Yeah. For me, it's all like the capturing the moments, capturing mm -hmm. the memories. It's like the best, most improved version of a diary, your camera reel on your phone. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's so cool being able to look back at pictures from your holiday on your iPhone, but it's so sick. I can't even explain just how good it is to be able to watch back a vlog of the day that you experience. And okay, you're talking about how question. you feel. Here's a question. Yes, I would. Would I vlog if I wasn't posting? Yeah. Yeah. But would you, okay, but what make, what, how do I word it? If it's just that you love capturing the memories, mm. why do you enjoy uploading them and vlogging? Because you could just edit them and keep them for yourself. And I think I would do. I just weirdly started YouTube when I was like 15. <laughs> I was like, I don't know <laughs> I how I, to not upload Maybe them. <laughs> I just won't post them anymore. No, I think it's like, again, builds in like the community. Yeah. Like people have been watching for so long. It's makes me want to create nicer videos mm -hmm. and make sure that I do edit them and I do put like some nice music into it and everything because I'm aware that it's going online. I feel like it's easy to, like we film quite a lot that we don't put on YouTube with like literally the vlog camera and everything, but we don't ever upload it online. It's just for us to watch back, but we're so much worse at editing that footage than it we are the vlogs. But then I don't know that that needs to be edited. 
No, but it just means it's harder to watch back. Yeah, it's because not it's as enjoyable. Because it's a lot of raw footage <laughs> yeah. rather than just sat down watching like a nice 10 minute or yeah. 40 minute video. Yeah, you know? that's true. What is one thing that therapy has helped you the most with? Do you want to go first or me? You go first. I think for me, oh, it's hard because, I mean, I've been talking to therapists for what, like five years, six years? Mm -hmm. You've been speaking to a therapist Even for, longer. It's hard to think of just I one thing. I can think of thing. one. That I think for me, is, yeah. Why don't we say that eat for each okay, other? Okay, that's a good, yeah, okay, that's good. We'll okay, that. go on then. So for you, I think the biggest change from having therapy is that you now plan. That was going to be my one thing I was going to say. Alfie didn't plan before. He would wake up and just be like, "Don't know what I've got today." He didn't fill in a diary. He didn't do any of that no stuff. No calendar. Nothing. nothing. But not only didn't plan, I he didn't, didn't want, want to. to plan which was the main thing. I saw that as being restrictive and obviously I've got so much freedom with the job that I've got that I could allow myself not to. Once you'd worked with a therapist, that completely changed. And that I think means life felt more organized. Like it, like everything just flowed better. So much better. I also just think you enjoyed your life more. You weren't as like stressed mm. and... I also think you can just see the next week, the next month, the next year better. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Sure. Like I couldn't be more into planning life now. Like yeah, I'm you so, love it. I'm like the opposite. I love thinking ahead, thinking big picture and planning. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I'm so not last minute anymore. Mine? One thing for you, I would say. Imagine if you said nothing. <laughs> oh, I can't really think All those one. nine years. <laughs> one thing I wish that you had improved. <laughs> Just your day to day level of anxiety is just so different. I think it's so easy to think of like the bigger picture things that pop up occasionally, like going on a flight or you've been in an airport is quite challenging for you. Mm. Those kind of bigger situations, but day to day you were running just on such a high level of anxiety all day. Yeah. Just for anything. Do you remember I used to like fall asleep on the sofa at like yeah, 4 Yeah, you'd have like a nap day. because you'd just be exhausted. Yeah. And like, not only do you not do that now, I can't even picture you doing that. No. Do you know what I mean? It's like a good I don't, job. I used <laughs> no, to I'm like, kids. <laughs> I won't be able to do that. <laughs> no, but like before we'd be like going to a restaurant and it'd be constantly on my mind like, is Zoe enjoying herself? Is she okay? Like, Does she want to leave? Do we need to leave at any point? Is the car park nearby? So if we mm. didn't, like, I don't even think about those things anymore. Neither do I. Like your high level of anxiety probably put me on like bodyguard mode, <laughs> yeah. like alert, like I was just ready. Do you know what I mean? Like how many viewers were coming over to a picture? Like, don't know, just, yeah. are you all good? Now I don't even think about that. Like when we were in town earlier, I'm not thinking like, oh, is Zoe okay? Like, does she want to leave or go home? Like nothing. Mm -hmm. That's wild that I don't think that. Yeah, that's crazy. That's so cool. Yeah, that is cool. Because it's too easy to think of the bigger things. The yeah. like typically challenging moments or things that people whether you've got heightened anxiety or not would find difficult. Mm -hmm. But your but every, it's the day every day that's probably the biggest difficult. difference. Yeah. And on that, it literally couldn't be more perfect to talk about the paid advertiser of today's video, which is BetterHelp. So when I've previously worked with BetterHelp in videos, I always like to start off by talking about my personal real life experiences and how therapy has genuinely bettered my personal life. But I feel like the question that Zoe and I have literally just answered is that exact thing. So BetterHelp connect you with a credentialed therapist who is trained to listen and give you unbiased advice. Genuinely super simple, you head over to their website and BetterHelp will match you to a professional who has years of experience helping people just like you. And possibly my favorite thing about this, and I've definitely said this before in videos, is that depending on which way you prefer communicating, that's what you can do with your therapist. So you could jump on with just messaging, literally back and forth. You could do a video call, which is what I do with my therapist, or you can just do an audio call, whichever you prefer, you can do. You will also usually match with a therapist within 48 hours, so you can get started fast. Let BetterHelp connect you with a therapist who can support you all from the comfort of your own home. Visit betterhelp.com forward slash Alfie and you will get a special discount for your first month. I genuinely hope that this helps you in the same way that therapy has helped my life. It has changed everything. Betterhelp.com forward slash Alfie. If you could know the answer to one question, 
what would it oh, be? Oh, that's a really hard... One question. It's a really hard question. The answer to this question? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's too broad. My Just brain anything. can't... My brain can't think of something because in in my mind I'm like I have to pick a Utilize good one. Utilize it, yeah. I literally can't think. So you say yours. First. I. It would just have to be. Do aliens exist? Oh, that's such I just a good need one. To know. I need to know. If I don't find out in my lifetime, touch wood, I do. Like, is I'm there gonna life be fuming. on other planets? Is there life? There has to be, but I need to know. I need to know the answer. Like, That's what's going on in Area 51? Come on now. That's such a good one. I can't think of one better than that. That's there like must the be ultimate like a big, question. There must okay, be like a I'll big true surreal. crime mystery. Yeah, that's a banger. Oh, man. But imagine we both find out the answer and I'm like, aliens do exist and you're like, so do ghosts. Oh, then we're just I feel scared. like our life would just change so much. <laughs> we should be scared. <laughs> I would. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. What high level job could you lie your way into with no experience? None. <laughs> There must be something. No, that would be so what awkward. High you level know I job. don't like to bend the rules. There's no way I would even attempt to do that. <laughs> Imagine in an interview them saying like a hard question to you. I feel like you're just I genuinely I would crumble and I would be like, why am I even here? I hate job interviews. This is terrible. <laughs> I don't oh. know. There's not. There is nothing I would want to lie my way to doing. I can't think. I'm trying to think. It can't be something where on the spot they could ask you to do something. That's what I mean. Oh my god, that would just be so and you're just embarrassing. Like, I have no idea. What? I feel like you'd be so good at that. You've got the gift of the gap. What would be good though? It specifically said high level job. Yeah, high level. <laughs> I don't know. I was about to say, like, a close protection bodyguard, because I feel like For I'm me. very aware. <laughs> I don't think I've quite got the physique. Mm. They'd be like, mm, I don't think you are you a bodyguard. You can't fake your... <laughs> like, my muscles. Your, yeah. Oh, that's a hard question. Isn't it? We're just going to have to go into the next question. Neither of us have an answer. You're picking some really hard questions. Well, they were just good ones. Yeah, because they are good. More but interesting I'm... because we get asked so much of like, what's your favourite personality trait of the girls yeah. and stuff like that. I'm yeah. like, I wanted to just throw in a little, okay. some little bit different into the mix. Is there something you can say that will instantly set the other person off laughing? Try it. Okay, right, you're not allowed to laugh. Let's say something at the same time. No, you say something first and I'm not allowed to laugh, then I'll say something. Three, two, one. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> that was okay, let me try another one. Let me try another one. Because it didn't Three, make me laugh. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know you said it first. <laughs> okay, my turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is a goodie. That is a goodie. I feel like we have... Like, nothing that makes each other laugh is like, no one would understand. Yeah, they're like, random weird inside jokes. Oh, here we go. Is Zoe... <laughs> is Zoe... Is Zoe the type of mum you thought she would be? Ooh. And is Alfie the kind of dad you thought he would be? I feel like I always knew you would be a really good dad. But I feel like you exceeded my expectations. Yeah. Yeah, I think But am like... I the kind of dad that you thought I'd be? Like, why? You are... But then more. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, you are everything I thought you would be, but you're also more than that, that I didn't even comprehend. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> now me. <laughs> now say the same back. <laughs> I think you definitely are. I just thought you're, okay. you're hoping that I say that more. <laughs> I think you just definitely are. No, but I think you are. And I always pictured you to be like the mum that you are. Yeah, it's like, weird, isn't just, it? I don't know, you're exactly what I thought you would yeah. be like. Yeah, and you're, you're what I thought you would be like. I don't know, I just... It's a weird thing because I feel like you try and picture your life with a child, but you don't necessarily think about your partner and what they're going to be like. You might have some idea. I feel like I just knew. Same. I feel like I just knew. I think we've been together so long that we just knew. Like, I don't some have people any doubts have, at all. Yeah, some people have children after... A couple of months or a couple of years of being together. Mm -hmm. We've been together so long that I just knew. And also we talked about it a lot or yeah. like, I don't know. 
we've spoken I can almost picture it so it many times over the years about like how we saw our life and like what we wanted it to be like and how like the balance between work and family life and what we'd do as a family and what trips we'd do and we've always activities. been so do you know on I mean? the same like page with it yeah all good though if one of us just didn't do <laughs> what the other one thought like yeah. we'd spoken about it so much and then the reality was just different which could probably happen. It probably happens a lot. Because you don't know how having the child is going to affect you as a person either. Yeah. So like, yes, I've known you for 11 years and I have this picture of the version of you that I know at that point. But having a kid can, can change yeah, and yeah. shift things. And I think during different ages of the kid, it could change yeah, and shift. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because there's... Like, be... ask me again when they're teenagers. Yeah, when we have two teenage <laughs> girls. Oh. Oh. No, I'll play fine. this back and be like, come on. It'll be fine. Yeah, what? It'll be fine. Please, someone reassure Please, me that it'll be fine. People with multiple girls, tell us it'll be fine. <laughs> what is your happiest memory together prior to having children? That's a good question. Because I don't know what, you, what you'd answer. Lockdown. Do you think? Mm -hmm. Just spending all that time together? Mm -hmm. I feel like it was the most just like me and you with mm. no distractions no external things happening no like here there and everywhere like it was very like it was like us at like our core and like stripped back yeah and i just feel like brought us closer a hundred percent it was so much fun getting to spend all that time with you yeah i think like and we'll never get that again uh, that's what ever. i mean that's what that's i mean so crazy well i touch wood <laughs> obviously unless but, we retire like when we're like 70. But even Probably then, it will be different because there's external factors. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, that's true. It was to be going out and doing things. Be, it was yeah. so limited. Yeah. It's not like, you know, you were going off to play like paddle and I was going for a run. <laughs> Like I just leave all no, the time. No, I'm joking. I'm no. the one that's weird because I like. No, I'm, I'm no, 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 no. No, no. You don't spend all your time. No, at home. I don't. I don't. I don't. But what? I'm joking. I am joking. It just brought us both together. And there was no a lot of external cooking together, a lot of... things. Like it wasn't like we had all these plans in the week that we had to yeah. go and do, and like it made us have more of a routine. Yeah. Which yeah, I that think made us brought more, more routine into our life. It brought so much more routine into our life. Everything was really stripped back. Mm -hmm. It was really simple. We had a lot of fun, and I just think it was so good. If I could go back and relive that, I would love to. Yeah. Just the me and you bit, not the like coronavirus yeah, not the whole, bit. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I'd written a diary or something. I don't know. I wish. I feel I'd... like we started, didn't we? No, I. Didn't. We definitely vlogged quite a lot. I remember filming. You, a lot I think and... you vlogged a little yeah. more, bit more than I did. Well, mine was kind of like a similar-ish answer, but not quite, which was, I think, probably the holiday. Sorry if you can hear Nala snoring, by the She's way. She's literally asleep down there. I was going to say the holiday whilst you were pregnant with Novi, mm -hmm. just me and you. That was really, that was nice. Because I think we knew what was coming with, like, having a baby, because obviously we already had Otty. Mm -hmm. But we knew our life was, like, about to massively change by having two children. And it was just me and you for the last time in really see probably like two years before we'd go on holiday, just us two. Like we still haven't been on holiday again them. and leave both the girls. Yeah. But like that probably won't happen until I don't know, maybe next year. Yeah, maybe. Might go on holiday without them. So probably like a year and a half, maybe two years. And we were so aware of that whilst we were on holiday that we just soaked up every moment. And we were only away for like what, like four days. Is that all? We were gone I think it was four days. days. We wouldn't have left Otty for more than four days. No. <laughs> yeah, they, she had a couple of days with your mum and a couple of days with my mum and dad. Yeah. And it was just so relaxing because we knew that we were about, about to go into yeah. like newborn life. So it was like, eat all the good food, absolutely chill out. Like, Sleep I read, I read one and a half books in like four days. So did I. Just had naps during the day. It was We listened to lovely. music. We like... Ate we did, good food. Yeah. You, you climbed up a mountain. I just watched oh, you. A hill. 
Well, it's a quite steep a one. Mountain. Yeah, it's a steep hill. It's a, it's steep, a steep hill. Big hill. I, I would good. call it a mountain. <laughs> it's just like pure relaxing though. Just yeah, that was you. good. That was nice. That was so nice. So many, but we don't really have an answer to it. I suppose we can answer it as much as we can do. Wedding plans, wedding plans, wedding uh, plans. We're not going to get married for a while. A little while. A little while. We not like a big while. Not like not the, how like long it took us years, to get engaged while. But, but not next year. Probably the year after. Yeah. What's that? 2026? Yeah. Because we want the girls to be old enough that they can like... Be involved. Really be involved. We also want to enjoyably plan it all because at the moment we've just got, just got two little ones. So it's like, it's full on. I feel like it would be quite rushed to try and add that into our lives at the moment. I would quite like to enjoy each phase of life and not yeah. try and juggle two phases of life at once mm -hmm. i feel like let's enjoy novi being small yeah. and otty at the age Ottie, she well, is she's not otty goes to school next year yeah isn't like, that crazy so all cool of those moments and time up we yeah. get with her before she goes to school yeah and then i want to like enjoyably plan it and yeah. not yeah like as i said not feel like we're like trying to rush to do it you know so yeah a couple of years there's no like direct plan of locations or no anything We've like got that very yeah. very loose idea of what we might like but again i just feel like that could change so right now we're just enjoying being just engaged with two little engaged kids. yeah right i'm gonna leave off the q a here i really appreciate you watching if you've enjoyed it Give it an old thumbs up. Obviously, remember, we've been daily vlogging over on Zoe's channel. Vloggers yeah. every single day. As you're watching this, we're still posting. Like, it's still going on. Are we? Oh, my God. <laughs> daily. As this goes up, we're still doing it. We're still going. It was never ending. There's 31 days in August. It's yeah. long. We picked a long month. It's also about to be Otty's birthday by the time we're watching this. So, there's going to be gonna some good fun We're going to have a three-year-old. We're going to have a three-year-old, guys. That's mad. Anyway. <laughs> Go check out Best Help if you haven't already. Link's down below. I'll catch you next Sunday, maybe the one after, with a new Sunday Diaries. Bye. See you then.